Hey everybody, Sam Burge here with another Wolf Peacekeeper review. And before I show the figure off, I just want to say I've been reviewing well over a year now the Wolf Peacekeeper lineup. And I've seen a lot of like the lineups from the SWAT to the Desert Jungle Patrol to the single sets. You know, I mean, if you've been following me up to now, you know I've been doing a lot of the reviews of the main good guys. But my one question has always been is, where are the bad guys? And today, I actually found a set from the World Peacekeeper lineup that are the bad guys. I've got to say a few things before I show you the figure and whatnot, but it's just more or less at the fact that it's like, this is a weird setup this figure has. Now, I've got two theories behind this playset. One of them is A, these are bad guys for the policemen, or B, they're just bad guys for the sake of being bad guys. That's really honestly the only two conclusions because when you look at the box, it's going to scream out, Ew, these are the bad guys for the cops. But it doesn't really, I don't know, it doesn't really come off as for just cops. I mean, it could also be just as well for uh, the ones I have been reviewing here lately. So, I mean, in the long run, I really don't know where these guys are supposed to be or whether they fall or who's their good guys that they're supposed to be fighting. But I figure y'all could probably enjoy this. And let's just take a look at this figure. So, before I show you any of the uh, figure, I just want to have you guys take a look at the box. Enemy Commando. This is what, I have both of them. But this is what their boxes look like. That's all it says. Collect them all. Well, this is kind of like the Secret Agent lineup. There's only two in this lineup. Not many. You got this guy with a knife. And this guy with a chainsaw. So, I'm not 100% sure what we're working with or what we're picking up on, but let's uh, flip the box and see the first character. Yeah, so, first character of this lineup is definitely um, the guy with the knife. I mean, I don't know what to call him. I mean, he doesn't really have a name, he doesn't have a rank, he's just enemy commando. He's got the AK-4U, just like the Green Barrette does. Revolver, sunglasses, black hat, cell phone, scope, knife, um, a ball and chain, and handcuffs. I mean, the character comes pre-apprehended, so I guess uh, we don't have to arrest him because he's already arrested. But, like always, I'm going to bust this character out, take a look, and... Uh, Kind of see what he's all about. Real quickly, I wanted to go over some of the um, small props that you won't see in the photo, but. Um, first off is the TNT stick. It's just like my EOD technician or any other figure that's came with uh, Diamondite sticks. This one has the time bomb to give him that classical uh, villain look. Uh, next up is the cell phone. Like I said, these are really small props and I don't want to take them outside when I do the photo montage, but there you go, just real close. I mean, it's not a bad detail phone, it's got a little sticker and even got a back for this huge, ridiculous camera for some reason. Then there's the um, ball and chain, the ankle bracelet. Yeah, ball and chain, that's what I call it. <laughs> but, um,. Yeah, all it is is a piece of molded plastic with this hook thing. I'd be careful bending and moving this part a lot because it feels like, I mean, it feels like after a while it's just going to break. So, that's interesting. 
Then the handcuffs, they're the same thing. They're just molded plastic and just like the ball and chain, it's just same thing, just piece of plastic. Real thin, real, yeah, just, I'm a little worried about like bending this too much because I feel like it's just gonna snap. I mean, it's a molded piece of plastic, but I mean, take a look. You can kind of see where I've opened it a few times. And it's already doing that little white line of death where the plastic's like, okay, my ductil my ductility is uh, up. I'm about ready to break. So, um, and then last but not least is a uh, signature knife. Unfortunately, mine came bent at the end. I'm sure I can fix that just by running it on under some hot water and flatten it out. But those were the small props. Um, the next part is just going to be the main rant and rave and me talking about the uh, character. So what's my personal opinion about this figure? Well, he's new and he's unique and I like it, but look at him as a bad guy. It's kind of hard to see. I see him as like a gimmick side character. Like, he kind of falls into like the side character for a villain. And on the back of this box, it's really hard to tell. It's like, who's the hedge honcho in this group? Who's the actual bad guy in this group? I mean, I don't know. Personally, I mean, I like the figure. I like the design of the figure. But, uh, I don't know. To call him a bad guy, that, I feel like that's the far stretch of it all. Because it really honestly does not make any sense to me at all why they have him as the main bad guy in this group it I'm a little confused by it I, I could say that much if I could say anything I'm a little confused at the simple fact that they got this character as a bad guy but like I just don't take him as like the main head honcho like you know like Cobra has got uh yeah it's got Cobra you know but I mean I don't know this lineup is a little confusing because there's a part of me that feels like this figure is meant for the police force playset, if I can say that right. Police force. Yeah, I feel like these are bad guys. These are just your common criminals that the uh, police force deals with, but not like a commando villain. I don't know. It's just when I think of playsets and I think of villain, I think of menacing, threatening, and intimidating when I see this guy. There's just a part of me that says, what is he, like a henchman? Cause he comes off henchman. He doesn't come off as like main protagonist. Just, I don't know, like there's two in this lineup and looking at them both, I just don't see any of them being like the main head honcho, the main bad guy. I mean, I'm not sure. Wolf Peacekeeper doesn't really have like a storyline to go with it's just figures that you buy in these sets and then you just uh, go with it it's kind of how it's been with these figures I mean it's not a bad set it's just a little lackluster of the wording should I say is a uh, it's a little confusing why they have this figure as a bad guy and I just he don't have a rank I think the biggest problem in this lineup for these bad guys is they don't have a rank like how am I supposed to know who's supposed to be the bad guy? Who's supposed to be the main good guy? And World Peacekeeper doesn't really have that. It's just more like, if you're one of the main hero characters, you'll get like a set, you know, like a special label, like the SAS or the Navy SEAL ton of them, or like, I'm like, that's what I mean by like in titles. It's like, these characters don't really, like this guy doesn't even really come with a title, he's just, enemy commando so i mean my biggest complaint is this character just does it. he comes off as a henchman and i've got the other guy i'm going to be reviewing him here soon but it's just more or less this one i mean it's not bad it's just a little bit off branding to me because it's really hard to really tell it's like are these the bad guys to the police or the gi joes or both like there's no real story, and like I said, this character doesn't really have a title to go with, so it's like you really don't know how to pretend what this guy is. Is he the bad guy? Is he the main bad guy? 
So in the long run, I mean, he's not bad, well-dressed. I mean, a little bit cheap on the outfit. Black pants, white shoes, black shirt. He kind of looks like, I don't know, he kind of looks like somebody from Green Day got arrested because the way he's dressed. I mean, the way he looks like, he looks like a Green Day band member, really legitimately. Who really knows? But, I mean, other than that, I mean, the figure's not bad for a bad guy. That's all I'm going to say for a bad guy. He just doesn't really come off as main villain to me. He just comes off as henchman. And that's how the guy with the chainsaw comes off to me too, is just henchman. No real, like, I don't know, there's just no one guy that's like, that kind of gives me like, that Cobra Kai or Skeletor or Shredder, that main villain look. So hopefully maybe uh, if World Peacekeepers is uh, listening to me, uh, you guys need to make a main villain, like somebody that's the main bad guy, the head honcho. Because right now you got two, uh, yeah, you got two henchmen and no leader, no boss. If I can make a suggestion, make somebody with a big old scar down their face and make that the main bad guy. Like the main honcho, you know, main bad guy, main villain. And have him wearing like... Maybe a suit of some sort, like, you know, somewhere in the range of, like, your stereotypical 007 villains. Or give him that action hero kind of over-the-top outfit. I'm just saying, if you're going to make enemies for the World Peacekeeper, my best suggestion would definitely just be um, make it where there's an actual obvious leader and an obvious henchman. And I mean, if this guy's the main leader, I'd be surprised. And if the other guy was the main leader, I'd be surprised. But like I said, Will Peacekeeper hasn't really got a backstory to these characters. All you know is this is enemy commando. This is a bad guy. That's really honestly what you get from it. So, thank you for watching. I know this one was kind of short, but I mean, there was a lot to talk about, but not a whole lot to give away on my perspective. But other than that... Have a nice day.